Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to download, play, and patch Pokemon Prism. Pokemon Prism is a Pokemon Crystal ROM hack that had its first full release in 2017, and since then has received several updates. Uh, the devs behind it, Rainbow Devs, are still working on it, and you can see what they're doing on their Twitter, their Blue Sky, and their own Mastodon instance, linked in the description. To download the game, all you need to do is click this download patch button, this green button, on the official Prism website, um, or the official Rainbow Devs website. They have several games on here, including um, Pokemon Brown, Anniversary Crystal in Red, and Pokemon Pinball Generations. If you have not played Pinball Generations, oh, it's a great game. Anyway, once you have that downloaded, I already have it downloaded, you can go to this How to Play and Patch Setup website and figure out how to do everything from there. Since all of us are going to be starting from a fresh Pokemon Crystal ROM file, all you need to get this set up is that English Pokemon Crystal ROM. Both 1.0 and 1.1 versions are acceptable, so you don't need to worry about anything like that. Unfortunately, with the shutdown of Vim's layer, Vim.net, to be a good place to find ROMs reliably, I'm not going to be able to tell you where you can find one of these. However, you just need to do a little bit of digging and you'll be able to find it. Getting into the patcher, um, you have two ways to access this. So on our... Um, zip file that we got for the most recent release of Pokemon Prism, all you have to do is fully extract the zip file, and you can find the patcher in this patcherunified.htm file. It is also available online, and I would recommend going uh, and using the online version. All you have to do for the patch file is go into here, and it's going to be pokeprism.bsp. And then for the input file, you just have to get your Pokemon Crystal ROM and then click Begin Patching. You should see something like this if you've done it right and your machine is ready for it. And from here, it detects the base you want and what patch you're using. You're going to click this Release ROM button right here and click Get File to get your Pokemon Prism ROM. From that, you just need an emulator to play it on. I would recommend BGB. Um, they have several that you can use. You can also use Sameboy, uh, for Mac OS and Linux. Or Emulicious, that works on anything that you have Java on. I would recommend BGB for Windows, though, because BGB is consistently one of the best, uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Color emulators out there. So all you have to do is open your BGB emulator. Now that you have your past ROM, all you have to do is right click and press load ROM here or drag it into your emulator and you are all good to go for that. If you already have a save file from an old version of Pokemon Prism, you can also update it from that. This is the first version that I have and it is from 2017. If you need to update your save file for that, the tool, this patcher tool, will also do that. So all you need to do is change your patch, uh, not change your patch file, but change the input file that you use. So I'm gonna click this old save, refresh, and then do that. The input file seems to be a save file. Do you wanna patch a save file to the latest version? Click yes. Before you do that, I would recommend creating a copy of your old save file, just like that. And you need to save in a Pokemon Center. That is not a negotiable, uh, not a negotiable thing. As you can see, I'm saved in Caper City. So click yes, and it will show you what build it's currently on for that. Click yes to patch and then you can click get file to get your updated save file. Once you have that, you can load into the game like normal, walk out of the Pokemon Center, and save. That way you don't have to worry, um, 
about any issues with maps changing, tiles changing, everything will work exactly as intended. And here we are on the phone. I'm using an iPhone, but the same process is gonna be true for Android. You have to click uh, download to accept the download. It'll show up in your files. I'm using Firefox, so it'll show up there, but it's the same process on Safari. You're gonna open the patcher, the online patcher. It will not work if you use the provided patcher that comes in the zip file. Go ahead and extract that. It'll be uncompress is what Apple calls it. And once you're in the files for that, you can see you have the exact same files you had on desktop. Click patch file, and you're gonna want to go in to that extracted folder and it'll be the same pokeprism.bsp. For the input file, you're going to need a Pokemon Crystal ROM, either 1.0 or 1.1, and then tap begin patching. You'll see the same kind of screen where it'll show you what you wanna patch. Click release ROM, click download, and then from there, you can use Delta, which is um, an official, not official, but it is a Game Boy Advance and Game Boy emulator that is available on the iOS app store. All you have to do is find that Pokemon Prism ROM file, tap on it, it'll open up in Delta, and you are up and running. And that is how you play Pokemon Prism on the phone. Thank you for watching. If this was helpful, please drop a like, please. Uh, let other people know if you're having any other issues. Um, I'm pretty active in the comments, so if there's anything that's going on that's weird, just let me know and I'll see what I can do to help you with that. I am also Let's Playing Pokemon Prism. There should be a uh, link to that flashing up on screen now. And I hope this was helpful.